everybody and welcome. I'm Count Christo and this is Victoria 3, a fun game. I'm recording a series for this. I'm only going to start releasing it once I finish recording it because I want to make sure I can do some uh, nice consistent releases on the episodes. We're playing as the UK. Look forward to that. It's a great time. But I just wanted to show you a few things first, <clears throat> partly because they won't be in the series till quite late on in it anyway. But uh, Victoria 3, yeah, really good game. Very much enjoying it. It made some boneheaded UI decisions and here is a mod pack that solves a lot of them. I didn't make any of these mods. Did I make any of these mods? I can't remember. I don't think I made any of these mods. I made one, but I... Oh, yes, sorry, the keyboard shortcuts mod. That's right. Step one to having an enjoyable time of, of uh, with Victoria, being able to have some sensible keyboard shortcuts. But anyway, I wanted to quickly show you some of these mods very quickly. Um, in case you were thinking, oh, I just want to wait for them to patch the UI. Well, don't worry. Modders have already done it for you. So here's a bunch of them that are really good. Number one. The outliner is really nice and quite customizable. You should be able to move these around, obviously, in the order that they're in, but oh well. It's quite customizable in terms of what goes in it, but it quite quickly gets too big on the right-hand side of your screen. So this mod moves notifications to the left, so they no longer overlap with it. Beautiful. Separate mod lets you filter by top priority notifications, lower priority, lower priority. And lower priority includes all the ones above it, of course. So for example, let's say we just want to see the important ones, we'll only see important notifications. You can also hide notifications altogether, which is nice. Then, on the market screen, much more dense, much more compact, much less scrolling, much easier to see what's going on. Same on trade route screen, much, much, much better than vanilla. I mean, it's actually usable. This is one of the worst screens, I thought, in vanilla. Uh, clearly, Paradox is afraid of scaring off more casual gamers with walls of numbers. But uh, if you're on my channel, you're probably not a more casual gamer. And so you'll be more happy with a mod like this. You're welcome. Enjoy. Uh, more dense military screen, so it looks like this, instead of uh, the kind of huge ones with pictures and things that the vanilla game gives you. Uh, I think that's most of it on the actual tabs. And then there's the spreadsheets mod, and this is so good! It gives you huge things that are all sortable, well by some of these anyway, and you can sort stuff and you can work out what's going on and you can see where the pops are the most... Uh, most well paid and you can try and build your construction centers down here for example stuff like that it gives you this market screen where you can see all of your trade on one place you can set your trade routes from here you can set your tariffs from here it's a fantastic fantastic screen the mod pop screen appears to be broken right now so don't click on that <laughs> but once that's fixed that's going to be really helpful too uh, right, what are some other mods? Oh yes, knowing the difference between severe malaria, they pick the same icon for severe malaria and malaria in vanilla, which is obviously very silly. So here's the severe malaria icon with the mod. Here's no malaria, obviously. And here is mild malaria. <clears throat> Just so you can easily tell at a glance the difference between those. Um, the battle interface mod is improved. I can't really show you that very easily here. Um, improved notifications, that's a good one. So that one makes it so that war notifications are a big pop-up and the darn migration one, which no one cares about, is not. You can see the building employment in the state view now, which is nice, that's the blue bar, very helpful, very good for knowing if your uh, buildings are doing well. It also works on the more compact version. Um, building list is greatly improved. So this screen is much, much better than it was. You can see uh, way more data in where you're choosing to build things, which is very helpful for choosing to build things in places usually where there are peasants. You want to turn them into not peasants a lot of the time. So that's uh, that's really helpful. Uh, yeah, there's the more spreadsheets mod. Yes, diplomatic UI is a really nice one. It will actually tell you who... Oh, sorry, diplomatic actions. It will actually tell you who will accept things. So right now, no one will accept an alliance. Uh, no one's going to accept a protectorate, probably. Uh, da -da. Yeah, no one's accepting anything right now, so but it would say they would accept if you uh, if they would actually accept it. And you can hover over here and it will show you the reasons for their acceptance or not acceptance, which is handy. Um, one outliner to rule them all is a good mod. It adds various things into the outliner, including the uh, approval. I think that's actually not in the vanilla game. That's amazing when I, now I think about it. But yeah, it shows mo much more things in the outliner and the market screen is so much better. It's just fantastic. Um, da, 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 da. better state outliner as well. I'm not. I don't usually use the state outliner, but uh, for when I want to, I can see in here that hmm, this might be a bit bugged. Actually, I seem to be not seeing some things in here. <clears throat> if I turn off interest groups here, is it not going to appear here? All right, I probably have a mod conflict. <laughs> I'll go and work on that. Uh, complete pop list is useful, not least because it tells you why the game is lagging so damn much. But if you look at a particular province and you go to population, it no longer just shows the top groups, it shows all of the groups, which is helpful. Uh, yeah, the build menu is better. 
Uh, no clouds from Lambert. That's a great mod. So when you're like this, there aren't big clouds getting in the way. Oh, Lambert, you missed some. Um, and yeah, dense trade routes and dense stuff. So very briefly, that's a rundown of the mods. I will put them in the mod pack and I'll figure out what that conflict was. Hope you enjoyed this quick rundown. Do try these mods to make your Victoria 3 experience all that much better and look forward to the series. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.